For the last six months, Union Rags has been at the top of Kentucky Derby lists all across the nation. Union Rags, just a two-year-old frolicking in the mud. Brilliant as a juvenile, he smashed the competition in his first three starts by nearly 15 lengths. And Union Rags is full of run. Union Rags to Breeders' Cup riches. That early dominance helped to make him the solid favorite for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Now he has Union Rags and look at him stride home in the center of the track and Union Rags went wide throughout but he's coming. He had a wide trip and uh, like I said, I think he was just a little bit green in the stretch. Union Rags is shifting to the outside. I think if Javier would have got him closer to the other horse at the head of the stretch, it wouldn't have been even a contest. And Union Rags, Hanson, the more they asked, the more he gave, and Hanson, what a thriller. Despite finishing second best, Matt's left Churchill Downs knowing Union Rags would be a force to be reckoned with all along the Derby Trail. He validated that feeling in his very first start at three, romping home by four lengths in the fountain of youth. Coming to the wire, oh, what a comeback, Union Rags! Ran a very good race, he did it very easy, and I think he probably would have done the same in the second race if, uh, you know, if he would have had a chance. They're off in the Florida Derby. Well, things just didn't go well in the Florida Derby. I mean, he got a little bit in a trap right going into the first turn and uh, nothing ever opened up. And Union Rags is still sixth. He's in behind horses. He's three lengths off the lead. Julian LeBrou will have to make a decision where to go. He got beat a length and a quarter and it was just just didn't get out in time. A couple lengths after the wire, he was in front of everything. Union Rags switches to the outside, but take charge, Indy wins the Florida Derby! I hope Julian learned something about the horse there and uh, have to go on. Despite a less than ideal final prep, Matz has since shifted his focus to the first Saturday in May, hoping for the same type of magic he enjoyed with Barbaro in 2006. But they're coming to the finish, and it is all Barbaro! It is a Union Rags trained at Keeneland briefly before shipping to Churchill for the Derby. He now occupies stall number 10 in Barn 42, the very same stall inhabited by Barbaro in 2006. Matt knows the media spotlight will be on him once again under the Twin Spires, but he takes comfort in the fact that he's already been there once before. Well, anytime you're, you've done it once and you have experience at it a little bit, you get to learn some of the things that uh, you might not make the same mistakes again, and hopefully that uh, we'll have the same results we had with Barbaro.